Ah, rest days. The time where you can kick back, relax, put your feet in the pool. Well, at least that's what I'm doing here. There's plenty of ways you can relax on a rest day. I'm actually on vacation at the filming of this video, hence why I'm hanging out by the pool. Now I'm making this video because there seems to be some level of confusion on rest days and the purpose and how you should treat rest days. So that's gonna be what we look at and the strategy I'm gonna touch on here might actually speed up your recovery time. I wanna first just look at a basic example. So let's say we train chest on Monday. It's not smart to train that same muscle the next day, although there are more variables that we'll need to consider, like how hard did you train the day before? Are you still sore? Along with if you are new to training. These variables will be different for everyone, but rest days doesn't mean that you can't use said muscle you're trying to rest. If the day after your chest workout, you decide to train shoulders, which will still have a small degree of pec activation, you can still train this muscle. You might find that you're slightly weaker, and data does support that training muscle muscles that are still sore can reduce force production to some degree. But this might actually be helping with muscle recovery. And here enters active recovery, which is performing low intensity exercises following a strenuous workout. Now active recovery can be things like massage, foam rollers, walking, or similar methods. Hitting a set of push ups the day after a strenuous chest workout can be a form of active recovery. The theory behind this is that the blood flow back to the muscle can help bring metabolites and nutrients that will help in the recovery process. And there is a degree of success with active recovery helping reduce muscle soreness and improve recovery rates. If you guys are interested in seeing a full length breakdown on active recovery, let me know in the comments and I'll do that. Now something I've noticed with a lot of my clients is that they treat rest days as a day off of all activity. If your goal is to become healthy or fit, it is much easier to accomplish this by having an active lifestyle. If you're in the gym five or six days a week and an hour each workout, that's six out of a possible 168 hours in a week. And that's six 168ths, and if you reduce that, it's 1 28th of the week. That was my attempt at reducing fractions. You might have to double check that to make sure it's right. So if you're only relying on 1 28th of the time you have each week to be the only time you work on becoming fit or healthy, you could be using your time much more efficiently. For those of you who are lifting consistently and you start noticing that your strength levels are not increasing, or even in some cases are decreasing, you might not be allowing for proper recovery time. This is a perfect example of someone that needs to use these rest days more efficiently. This is also typically why they recommend 72 hours between training the same muscle groups. Although there's so many different ways to train and exercise that I don't want to impede on whatever is successful for you. If you find your strength going down, if you find your ability to recover getting more challenging, using rest days can be an effective way for you to help recover those muscles, but that doesn't mean you have to be inactive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna watch more of my content, feel free to click any of these videos up top here. I hope you guys have a great day and remember to stay active.